We just finished up a race at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. A very interesting race. Ended up utilizing the wet weather tires. Let's talk about how that went. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. What did you think about the race at New Hampshire Motor Speedway? What did you think about the wet weather tires? Plus, give me any improvements I can make on the channel. So a very interesting race we just had at New Hampshire Motor Speedway, a.k.a. Loudoun. The first two-thirds of this race, there was the threat of rain throughout the day. And we saw that track position was a big factor. I guess that shouldn't be a huge surprise with the track type that we were racing at. But track position was a huge factor. I think the biggest example was Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott looked completely dominant at the very start of this race. Looked to fall off a little bit on the longer run. And then once he got into traffic, it just seemed like he wasn't that competitive. I think very early on in this race, there was a couple of drivers that really stood out from the rest that were going to be competing for the victory today at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. And I'm talking about the Joe Gibbs Racing drivers, especially Denny Hamlin, Christopher Bell, Martin Truex Jr., and I'm also talking about Kyle Larson. At this point, none of this should really be a surprise, especially at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. A really strong track for both Christopher Bell and Martin Truex Jr., plus Denny Hamlin and Kyle Larson at this point are competing for the win anywhere we go. These drivers looked strong throughout the day and looked like they were going to be competing for the win. And then when we heard that the rain was getting close, a bunch of strategy got into play. Brian Scott, the crew chief of Tyler Reddick, ended up making a call, putting Tyler Reddick at the front of the field. And then we ended up having... I think around a two and a half hour long rain delay and it looked like it looked like it was over. It looked like we were done. We were not going to go back racing, but NASCAR held out hope. I was really happy to see that one big knock I probably have during that time was I, I agree with what a lot of people say on Twitter and a couple of drivers that there was a possibility when they initially came down pit lane to go on the wet weather tires for maybe a half hour or 40 minutes. And they could have gotten a good amount of laps, a good amount of the rest of the race in, but that's in the past. Overall, I'd say it was a good move by NASCAR. They waited it out. And I know a lot of the fans at the track were happy to see that. And they produced a good finish to the end of this race. Yeah, the timing at the end of this race ended up being pretty perfect. Because by the time they waved the checkered flag, it was getting really dark out there. And there was a threat of another rain shower nearby. So it ended out on a good time. But those last 80 laps that they ran on the damp wet racetrack at New Hampshire Motor Speedway on the wet weather tires was very entertaining. You saw three, four, even at times five wide racing. Every driver using up every little bit of that racetrack, trying to find the wetness in the racetrack, trying to keep the tires cool at the same time, trying to find some sort of speed. Overall, it seemed like that middle lane had the most speed on those wet weather tires. You saw that with a lot of the restarts. There were a couple of drivers that really stood out during these last 80 laps. And I'm talking about Christopher Bell, Kyle Larson, two drivers I mentioned earlier, plus a pair of Stuart Haas drivers 
being Josh Berry and Chase Briscoe looked incredibly strong during these last 80 laps on the wet weather tires. But to get to the very end of this race, no one was really able to challenge Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell, I've been talking about him most of this video, was just very dominant whether they were on the wet weather tires or on the slicks. I think he proved to probably be the most competitive driver throughout the day. I think you could argue maybe Mark Trex Jr., but unfortunately he wrecked. And that was that was really awful to see because he just announced his retirement. Him winning at New Hampshire would have been pretty cool, especially since he won here last year. It would have been back to back. But unfortunately that did not happen. And Christopher Bell ended up going to victory lane. Like I said, no one really competed with him on those last couple of restarts. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better. You had Chase Briscoe, amongst others, try to restart on the bottom of Bell, and they just weren't able to have the grip in one and two and just slid up the racetrack. Most of the time, they would lose positions. I think Briscoe did a pretty good job on those, on those last couple of restarts, but not good enough to compete with Christopher Bell, who gets his third win on the season and continues to cement himself as a championship threat. Honestly, I was not that surprised. Bell was strong all day. Christopher Bell was also my pick to win the race. But when I saw that they were going to try the wet weather tires with the speeds they were going at, I knew it was going to be really slick. Whether they were on the slick tires or the wet weather tires, it was going to be really slick. So the two drivers I was going to keep my eye out on were... Kyle Larson and Christopher Bell and they didn't surprise me they just drove up to the front pretty quickly those two were pretty much the fastest cars throughout the race not a huge surprise but a very entertaining finish to this race I was glad to see NASCAR try something new even though I'd say they made a couple of mistakes making some calls when it came to the tires whether to change them or not change them down the stretch. Overall, I think they lean towards the way of safety, and hopefully they learned a lot for the future and can make maybe some rules and regulations if we have a scenario again like this in the future. So great job by Christopher Bell, but there's honestly a couple of drivers I have to shout out that had a great day. I'm going to start with the driver that I've been talking about pretty much every week at this point, whether it's coming to the silly season rumors or these post-race breakdowns, and that is Justin Haley. I've been incredibly impressed with Justin Haley and his performances week in and week out. He is a great race car driver, and whether, whether he stays with Rick Ware or not, I think he's probably on the move. But I hope he stays at Rick Ware. Whether he's on the move or not, he is really impressed this season. Todd Gilliland had a great day all day long. Ricky Stenhouse had a, had a really good race. I did briefly go over the Stuart Haas drivers of Chase Briscoe and Josh Berry. They both had great days as well. Michael McDowell was really going for it late. Ended up taking out himself and Ryan Blaney. He had a great day. Just a very interesting day at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. A day of firsts, but at the same time, a normal face in victory lane when it comes to New Hampshire Motor Speedway. A driver that has won three times on the season, but a driver that has also won at New Hampshire Motor Speedway previously, including just yesterday in the Xfinity Series, talking about Christopher Bell. Overall, at the end of this race, I think NASCAR made a couple of iffy calls. They're just kind of they're just kind of making it up as they go with some of this stuff, which is really unfortunate. But I get it at the same time with the situation like this. They've never done something like this, but they should have been more prepared when it comes to ruling and regulations. 
here at the end of the race because on honestly in my opinion they should have had the option to go to the slick tires if they wanted to they should have gave the option of drivers staying out there was some iffy calls i'd say by nascar at the end of this race but overall i think the goal in their mind was to keep everybody safe and try to have the most entertaining finish to the end of this race as possible overall this is a great test for nascar to race on these wet weather tires i was pretty entertained by the end of this race but give me all your thoughts down below what did you think about the race at new hampshire motor speedway what did you think about the wet weather tires do you think they could have maybe put them on earlier when they came off the track initially do you think they did it in the right way what did you think about the calls at the end of the race when it came to switching tires and not switching tires let me know down below but that'll do it for me thanks for watching my name is kyle aka racing boy short saying peace